On earth could they have ever expected to survive? I can ask myself what happened, but where do I begin? With the droughts, the famines, the plague? It began long before all that. I lived through it all. My story is everyone's story. The story of the last century. I was born June 2nd, 2009. Civilization was at a crossroads. We were in a race for our future. Today I say to you that the challenges we face are real. They are serious and they are many. The temperature is expected to keep going up. The stock market plunged. Douglas County will run out of drinking water. They will not be met easily or in a short span of time. Sixth grader came down with suspected swine flu on Wednesday. Energy, climate, food, population, economic pressures. Any one of these challenges might be very serious in itself. But because they're happening all simultaneously, it's going to be very difficult for our governments to cope. When I look at the next century, I feel it's up for grabs. Raising sea levels. Catastrophic weather. Ten-year drought. It's scary. These are things that are happening today. The time for action is now. The world had never known such uncertainty. We were used to having what we wanted and doing what we wanted. The analogy that I would draw is someone looking at their bank account and week after week they're withdrawing money and they're enjoying a good life. If they would bother to read the statements, they would see that the bank account is dropping $900, $800, $700, $600. And at that rate, you know that another six months of the good life, there's not going to be a good life anymore. We've acted as though we were independent of the environment. We burned fossil fuels. We've overused our renewable resources. In the belief that we could do that forever. People are complaining about the economic crisis we have right now. You haven't seen nothing yet. You know, if we continue down the suicidal pathway that we're on, uh, where we basically turn living stuff into dead stuff and call that economic growth, this will look like the good old days. Although the world I was born into was running out of so much, water, oil, land, I remember a loving family, a big house, green lawn, more water than we knew what to do with. My parents must have known what was happening. 